Welcome to your latest 28 day ab challenge. This is very exciting, I have Kat with me here. We are ready to roll. Let's do this. So we're gonna be starting off, it's gonna be four exercises, 45 seconds, solid on each exercise, followed by 15 seconds of recovery. Very exciting, I'm ready for you to get into it, I hope you are. All right, we're gonna be starting off very simply with a plank, followed by a seal, followed by, uh, then you've got your mountain climbers. We're gonna have a little bit of a lift in there as well. And then finally finishing off with a plank with leg lifts too. So let's begin with a plank in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's roll. So yeah, so 45 seconds on. Yeah. So thank you again, Kat, for coming on down. <laughs> and, and thank you for being here. Uh, so so we, we're gonna be going strong, just embrace this a little bit. Just remember when we're drawing our abs in, we want the back to be nice and flat. Um, yeah, and then just clenching the glutes a little bit. And basically, yeah, you want your shoulder, hip, and ankles all to be in a nice line. Yeah, so Kat can drop the hips just a little bit, but I mean, that's just me being perfectionistic. Um, so you're almost there, we've got 10 seconds left, and then we get into your 15 second, sorry, 15 second recovery. So, three, two, one, well done, Kat. Good job. Little break, 15 seconds. And we get straight into it. So next we've got the seal. So the reason why we're doing the seal is because we are doing a lot of that work and we do want to make sure that we don't end up, yeah, making these muscles so strong, but end up hunching a little bit. So you're going to see what the seal is in five, four, three, two, one. So rising up. So we're going to really work on squeezing our shoulder blades in. We're going to try not to rest at the bottom each time. And you're going to be lifting your feet up. Now something to keep in mind. And so yeah, so just to clarify, your muscles in between your shoulders, you're going to be working really hard so your rhomboids are trapped. Then you should feel like all the way down your back, you're really feeling your, your back muscles kick in, okay? So you correct the spinning. And then when you're lifting your legs as well, you're going to feel your glutes clench and then even your hamstrings really come into it. So basically what I'm saying is it's something called the entire posterior chain, so all the way along the back of your body. Okay, so three, two, and one. Well done. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm feeling it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Hope you're feeling it at home too. Okay, so let's keep it going. So we've got another five seconds and then we're going to get straight back into it. So coming on down. Yeah, we're going into our mountain climbers with a lift. So we can. We're going to be bringing our knee into our chest and then as we do that, yeah, lifting your hips up and then lowering them back down. Lifting your hips up, lowering them back down. So the, the reason for the lift is it then just brings the abs into it a little bit more and getting your knee up as high as you can into your body. That's it. Perfect. Okay. So you should be feeling this. Okay. Should be. Okay, everyone, else. <laughs> everyone else is like, we are feeling it. Shut up. <laughs> You're doing great. Okay, so just keep it going. Alright. So doing really well. That's it. Trying to point your feet as well. That's it. And the further you can get those knees into your chest, like, shut up about the feet. Yeah. <laughs> So three, two, and one, break. Beautiful. So 15 seconds to recover. Okay. And then we have our plank to come again. All right, another 10 seconds, but this time we'll be lifting up the back for the ultimate. Okay. So let's get excited. Five seconds left. All right. Yeah, you got it. So three, two, and one, onto your toes. That's it, beautiful. So yeah, lifting up. And so yeah, you have, you have two benefits. One is that this makes it a little bit harder on the ball. Two, you get like a little bit of a workout, a little bit, not, not too much. Double back. Yeah, double back. <laughs> um, and just remembering, if you start to feel like your lower back is arching, there's a lot of pressure in your lower back, drop down to the knees, you don't have to be on your toes. You can still do the leg lift as well on the knees. That's if anything, you're gonna feel your glutes more than it that way. But yeah, come on, back up with your toes if you can. <laughs> um, beautiful, so we've got 10 seconds left. So going strong, doing really well. Okay, yeah, really embracing that burn through the abs. Three, two, one, beautiful, okay? Well done, Kat. Okay. 15 seconds to recover, and then we get back into stretch it. Stretch out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a good <laughs> stretch. Okay, so yeah, all right, 10 seconds. And then I think I'm gonna actually give me a little bit of extra time to recover, so embrace that. Okay. Um, yeah, so three, two, one, and straight back up, normal plank. So, so nothing special, okay? Um, but yeah, yeah this, this is gradually gonna weigh you down and <laughs> in a good way. Um, but yeah, gradually we're, we're actually ripping your muscle fibers, so we are causing damage right now. And what happens is, yeah, your performance gradually decreases, 
This is after the workout session itself. The performance decreases, and then it, your body recovers, and then because your body says, hang on a second, we've taken that hit, we're make, gonna make sure that we're ready for it even worse next time. So they super compensate, and you become stronger and fitter, and you have great abs for it. So three, two, one, crack. Well done. Okay, and now your abs get a bit of a break, and we go back into our seal in another 10 seconds. Enjoy the recovery. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So in five seconds. That's it. And three, two, and one. Rising up. Beautiful. So yeah, something that you want to avoid is, is raising through the upper traps. You want to make sure you're not doing that. And also if you feel like your lower back is really feeling a lot of pressure by lifting the feet as well, you can let your feet stay on the ground. The main thing right now is I really want you to feel through your shoulders, okay? And then through your back as well. Okay, so keep it going, we're almost there, just trying to keep those feet. So yeah, if you're driving your feet, your feet and hands off the ground the whole time. Okay, keep it going, we've got 10 seconds left. That's it, cat's feeling the burn, so I hope you are too. <laughs> Five seconds, that's it, almost there. So three, two, one, well done, well done. We're okay. doing well, we're <laughs> doing well. <laughs> okay, so 10 seconds left, all right, and then we're going back into our mountain. Shorten up a little bit. So three, two, one. Let's go. So knee into the chest and then raising up each time. So now, if you feel like your neck is getting really tight or anything like that, feel free instead to go into your back and go into reverse crunches. So I hope you know what that is by now. But if you're lying down your back, you bring your knees into your chest and stand down. Okay. So let's keep it going. We've got another 25 seconds left. That's it. That's it. Really, really good. Really good. Keep pushing, keep digging. You've got this, okay? You've got this. And we should be breathing out. Yeah, so breathing out, as you bring the knee into the chest. That's it. That's it. Good. Okay, so five seconds left. Hang in there. Three, two, one. Well done. Well done. Well done. All right. Okay. <laughs> She's like, we're almost there. Really That's really the well. smile of like, oh, it's not 15 minutes anymore. This is all right. We're almost there. Absolutely. Okay, so coming down again. All right, and let's do it. We're going into our plank and then just doing one leg lift, alternating each time. Beautiful, beautiful. That's it. All right, really good, guys. So, yeah, so hanging on strong, keeping your hips a little low. That's it, yeah, it's going to make it harder on the abs to keep the hips low. Okay, so one thing that I want you to avoid as well, so you just keep going, Cap. One thing I want you to avoid is having your elbows too far forward. Um, and not doing it on purpose. If you, if you do get a tight neck, you don't want your elbows to be uh, too much further than your shoulder, okay? Um, because you're going to gradually tense up through the other traps. If, if you're feeling strong, you're feeling great, then having your elbows is great. Three, two, one, well done, well done, well done. Good job so far. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're almost there, we're almost there. Okay. So, yeah, so last round. Yeah, Jordan, you've got this. Five seconds left, and then we'll go straight into the long plank. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Let's do it. Hold it together. Just you're not going to get those arms. I'm going to make sure that I, I'm bloody proud of my body. I'm doing awesome. And, and you've got the habit of working out. And I really want you, something I want to empathize, emphasize as well, is doing these workouts at the same time every day is going to help you so much. Okay, just as far as consistency goes, as far as making sure that you stick with the habit. Yes, go ahead. So you are just the last. No, no, on your knees, because you were, that was like the last one. I was on my knees. Yeah, you were. Um, okay, so going strong, guys. Doing well. Keep pushing. We're almost there. That's right, so five, four, three, two, one, break. Well done, Kat. Really, really good. <laughs> Okay, and well done back home. We're almost there. We're almost there. So we have the seal to come now. Alright, so you get your break on your abs. Okay, so in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's rise up. Beautiful, really good form. Okay, so you're just trying to really squeeze those shoulder blades together, lifting your hands as high as you can. Keep counting. Awesome. Yeah, I really want to emphasize as well. Make sure that we're really 
I want you to make sure that you do these workouts at a regular time each day, or at least a regular time on weekdays and then weekends, because motivation will get you started on these workouts. So the habit and consistency and rhythm are gonna be the things that keep you there. Okay, so three, two, one, well done, well done. Um, yes. Yeah. Okay, don't do his help now. It's okay. Okay, so pump it out. All right, let's go into those now. Um, now it comes with a lift. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so three, two, one. Let's pump it out. So raising your hips, knee into your chest. Let's say you're only two exercises away. This one and one more to come, and then you're all done. Okay, so keep it coming. Keep it coming. That's it. So I want you to be really proud of yourself right now. So it's sticking it out, working hard, and putting in the effort. Okay, putting in the effort. That's it. Really good, cat. Really good back on. Keep it going. Almost there. Almost there. That's it. Raising up. Raise that pain. That's it. Keep it going. So five seconds left. Then you get your break. It's three, two, one. Great. Well done. Fifteen seconds. Straight into your plank. With your leg lift. Then we stretch, then we're happy, then we're relieved, and then we can pat ourselves on the back in disciplines and getting the job done. Okay, so three, two, one, let's go. So straight into your plank, so nice and straight, dropping your hips a little bit, dropping into your leg lifts, and remembering that you can go on the knees as well. Alright, you don't have to be sticking out like this. That's it, you guys are doing really well. Alright, so just keep pushing, keep the consistency up. Yeah. Don't Focus on getting it done and pushing through. Pushing through. That's it. Really, really good. Really good. So yeah, go on to the knees. If you need to go to the knees, that's not a problem at all. Just keep going. Alright, this is the last one. So keep going. That's it. Well done. And five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Done. So stretching through the abs. Go for a cat. Well done guys. Really, really good job. Kat, do you have a message? Oh, um, keep going through the pain. <laughs> Definitely keep going through the pain. It's all worth it in the end. Yeah. Oh, Feeling a lot of pressure there. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so really, really great work, guys. So you can stretch it through the lower back. You got one hand on the other to the side. That's it. Yeah, really, really good job. Okay, so regroup. Yeah. Enjoy the feeling of success and really like it's these little, it's just ticking off the boxes, doing those small things that seem like insignificant things to, to getting the job done. You tick them all off and so long as you're putting in the work, you're doing those small goals and you're achieving them every day. So one way of them calling it is a process goal to achieving your end goal and the world's your oyster. You break it down, you make it happen, and then when something's not working, you mix it up. But this is definitely gonna work for you. All right? Have a good one. Bye, I look forward to tomorrow. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Ciao. <laughs>